so freaking fast. Where is the mic located? It's that guy. Yep. It actually has a pretty nice mic on it. Yeah. It's pretty sweet. That's nice. You know how much these are going for these days? Probably a boatload. They're like 500 bucks now. That's so ridiculous. Because everybody needs them for their zooms yeah. and shit. They need yeah. the top down for the... Yep. It's insane, man. How do I... Makes me wish we would have gotten another one for the company. Yep. Like, a long time ago. Alrighty. Well, we are live now, I guess. Howdy. That means we got Dudley here from the Champagne Store helping us open stuff up today. What's up, everybody? We are going to do six boxes of Acoria, Lair of Behemoths. It's pretty sweet. Including uh, the box toppers, man. Big Stompy Monsters, the set, is, as some people like to call it. Big Stompy Monsters, the set. Pretty interesting stuff, too, man. Just really cool designs Ooh. on a lot of these uh, big monsters. We're going to start it off with a little fun here. Oh, yeah. All right. So we got that box and topper. And box topper. All right. All right. Very nice. Looks like we got uh, Godzilla action to start. Yeah. Oh, sweet. And uh, oh, we got one of the Trilands. Oh, Trilands. Yeah. So these Trilands, man, people are really excited about them for obvious reasons. Having Forest Island Mountain makes them fetchable. Yep. Obviously, the Triland coming in tapped uh, is still really good if you can fetch it, and you have the option cycling. for cycling it. Yeah. So that's pretty exciting. Another land. Pretty sweet. That's the enchantment. Uh, yes, people. Oh, sorry, are, yeah, people are yeah. interested about this enchantment. People are, don't know which way it's going to go. Play an additional land each turn. Additional land. You draw forward. two cards, but it makes you discard your hand. But if you think about it, late game, if you're drawing two cards, you have pretty much all the mana you need. You're casting Ooh. stuff out. A little foil mamba. Man, you're gonna dirge bat. Look at oh, that guy. Wow, wow. We got some kind of like comic art. I haven't seen this yeah, yet. Those are pretty sweet. Really interesting. Full art comic art coming straight out of a, a bio box or right out of the box. That's pretty yeah. cool. Man. Gem Razor. That guy looks cool. That guy's in a lot of people's top tens. Yeah. He is a seriously good, just straight up rare out of this set. So. Yep. That's an exciting one. I, I like the mutate mechanic. It could be interesting. I, I, I'm curious to see how it'll play out in standard. There's a lot of weird things you could do uh, in commander with it. In standard, it's just giving a lot of power to some creatures, yep. so that's exciting too. Some mythos cards too, one of the one of the runs that they've yep. got going. All interesting. There's a bunch of runs in this set. There's the mythos, there's the... Uh, yeah, the mythos, the ultimatums. Ultimatums. The Creatures, foil. basically. You've got like a, yeah. a, a human-style creature run. You've got big, stompy creature run. It's a lot of interesting uh, color combination runs in this too, so... Plus, man, it's just big creatures. That's fun. That's all there is to it. It's fun. I mean, you, you know... Wizards has been Bonders, pushing Commander, Bonders. and so they want to put a ton of Commanders out this year. They want to put out cool creatures. Yep. Apparently, they just want people to fight each other with big creatures. <laughs> you can tell in this set that's where it kind of wants to go. Eerie Ultimatum. There we go. All right. So, yeah, you got those seven-drop oh. Ultimatums, those big it's guys. It's not cool, but that Majestic Oricorn looks cool. That is really cool. That is really cool. I like these alternate arts. They look yeah, cool. I, to be honest, I... I don't remember seeing this kind of art yet, so that's kind of cool. I, I did look at the set a couple times, di didn't notice that, so that's cool. Let's clear these guys out. All right, here. we got a we got a big guy here. We got general. Cool. We got one of those Kingro. mythic uh, human dudes. Run of those guys too. Pretty nice. Yeah. Really cool. Cards. Borderless cards. Lurie. Oh yes. The <laughs> elemental otter. <laughs> Are, uh, already my girlfriend's favorite card of the set by a wide margin. <laughs> I was going to say, I feel like that card, whether it gets played or not, is going to hold value. Yeah, it's just a cool little card. Here's a... Woo! Oh, man, that foil kinnon. Double down. We got a foil kinnon oh, here. That one's, that, that one's the good stuff. Sure shark. They did a lot of weird stuff with sharks this time. Dude, there's the Sharknado there thing, There is too. a Sharknado. Um, Wizards is like, yeah, well, just throw a Sharknado in there. We'll see how I mean, well that we're, goes We're over. jumping the shark. We're jumping the shark here, folks. Man, that Phoenix is cool. Phoenix looks sweet, wow. doesn't it? These cards are great. Yeah. Some crazy stuff so far. So no, that cool. Foil Kinnon, I think that might be uh, the winner so yeah, far. As for far sure. as value goes, or maybe things people want for Well, I mean, the box might be stuff. the only thing that's got a chance to knock it off right now. Yeah, it's true. Hunted but, no, that's a good one. Nightmares. 
There's a couple uncommons in this set that are looking pretty solid. Too. Yeah, there's some big ones. So that's exciting as well. We'll see if we find any of the big uncommons or a good Boy. chunk of them. There's even some commons that people want. Emergent ultimatum. Um, but uh, yeah, Heartless Act is a big one. Heartless Act being the almost two dollar card right now. It's the it's the great is that removal. The black? One, yeah, one in the black. it's removal. Basically, it's giving you options on removal, and it's only for it's gotcha. a two drop, and it's instant speed. So uh, that's the one people are probably going to be using a whole ton in standard, and then, yeah. you know you might even see it in some other formats just because of its ease of use. It also takes tokens off of stuff, with which very few cards do. Yep. So that's a big one there. Frontland Felidar. Cool. Oh man, these creatures oh, are this, just so cool. This does. Uh, Sprite Dragon also looks pretty sweet. Yeah. Oh That's going to be a solid card, I think. Yeah, it's exciting. So 1-1 one, one so for many two So much of this art is just like... They just told the artist, hey, here's the concept. Go nuts. Go nuts. So just really cool creatures in this set. Yudario. I feel like the last set was all kind of about story, and this one's all kind of about just like, hey, do you like cool creatures and crazy yep. art? And, you know... It's pretty cool. Oh man, that guy's awesome as well. Yeah. It's one of those things from a collector's perspective, even if you're not looking for value, there's just so much cool stuff, just creatures and art in this one. Crystals. There's another great card, another mythic we found. Yeah. Nethor... Nethroi? Nethroi? I don't even know how you pronounce that one. Yeah, yeah. Oh, look at that guy. Cool. Foil... Foil alternate art guy. Foil alt art uncommon Shibble. that has just this crazy like comic book art and then there's a regular one in the same pack what do you know this just comic book art man once you get it foiled and the full art version of the foil Looks pretty sweet man it is okay. some nice looking stuff yep there's some solid i'm liking it i'm uh, pretty excited for this set it's uh looking like a lot of fun stuff right? i mean it at the very least, if like let's say you're a new Magic player getting into the game, like if you open this set first, you're like, wow, this is one of the coolest. Other cool seen. stuff in here, yeah. Um, and you know, it's also giving plenty of love to the Commander players, and yep. it's definitely shaking up standard. Some people have their thoughts on it after watching quite a few videos, but oh yeah, um, they always do. Everybody's got an opinion. Everyone's these got days. their opinions. It's another ultimatum. Yep. Genesis this time? Genesis Ultimatum, yeah. Uh, the floor is basically, you're getting five cards. The uh, ceiling is doing a ton of awesome stuff. There's that ferocious great shark. That thing looks kind of neat. There's not a lot of it's like a nasty shark. There's a lot of sharks. Yeah, there's yeah. at least three or four, like, rares and... There's, like, a, a shark with wings. There's a shark with arms. Because why wouldn't there be a shark with wings? That just makes sense, right? There's all kinds of cub warden. Cup Warden's one that there's there's not a lot of value to it right now in terms of cash or va money value, but it looks like a neat card. So. Yeah, plus everyone loves cats. Uh, we got a double foil rare, rare foil there. rare, regular rare there. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, that, those Mythoses, people are going to want those for EDH, so those foils are going to be yep. nice. Clear this side Clear out this here. Out. Got it. Raptor. I also love how they're just kind of like word vomiting in all of these keywords of like the types of creatures. <laughs> nightmare Ooh, dinosaur, cat, dragon, cat, nightmare beast, dragon, something, something or other. All the keywords. All right, so we got a that. full art, non foil, full cool. art, myth, mythic. With the crazy art. With that crazy comic book style art, and I am just digging it. Honestly, I'm surprised that I that I haven't seen the list of this art yet because it's just. It's crazy. It's great looking. Looks awesome. Stuff. Pretty excited. Great looking. Those stuff. are looking. Yeah. Hey, shark! Out of a tornado. Hey, Why not? shark! Shark token. I mean, this box has been pretty solid. Yeah, it's a. This actually has been a great, great that box. That foil Nefari or whatever his name is. Yeah, a couple of that really thing good ones. Bonkers. Yeah. Danrith. Dan. Draneth. 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 I also love how they're doing the hybrid colors that just make deck building a little easier. Yep. That's yep. always kind of like something I wish they'd do more often. But in a uh, in a set that's got tri-lands and a set that's got tons of multi-land creatures, dragons. 
Nice sprite drag. Sprite drag. It's good that they went back to the hybrid game. Or oh, at yeah. least some of their cards. Yeah, yeah don't not too often. Having a couple in doing there. Doing enough. Solid. Yeah. This guy, Loris yeah. the Dream Den. Real cool. Cat Nightmare. Cat's got a lot of love in this oh, set. Yeah. For those of you who love your cat tribal decks, there's going to be some new cat commanders coming soon. Oh, yeah, there's all kinds. Oh, the Osrith. There you, you go. This guy? Yeah, that's a really, really cool artifact. Let's clear those guys out. You like keeping your counters? That's the token you need, or the card that you need. That one's awesome. Just put those token or the counters you also had on one, something. Yeah, <laughs> also one of the only featured artifacts that people are really paying attention yeah. to. This is not an artifact heavy set. Nope. Regarin There's Trium. another one of those Trilands. Jonesy, crack me some of those foil Trilands. We only got want those two bad boys. packs left in this. Two in packs the in the first box. box. All right, and then we get to pop open another box topper. Yeah, man. That's my. That's what I'm excited for. Foil Tranquil Co. That's, that's nice. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Nothing crazy, but always fun. All right, last pack in the first box. Death's Oasis. All right. Death's Oasis. One another one of that and the Enchantment Run. Yeah. Nice. Multicolored stuff. All right. A lot of tricolors. Let's uh, do a little cleanup here. If you want to cool. get those out of the way. Yep. You got it. All right, that was box number one. I would say uh, not pretty good. Shabby. Yeah, there's a lot of really good stuff in these boxes, surprisingly. Funny thing about a set like this is when every single rare is a ridiculously cool-looking creature. Like, yeah. man, I feel like I opened the best box in the whole wide world. Even if, like, yeah. Some of them may or may not be, you know, all that much in dollar value. But, man, it's like, this was the coolest box I've ever seen. Ooh, that's pretty fancy. Oh, baby yeah, Godzilla! Baby Godzilla! <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, foil baby guys. Uh, born oh, baby. Super cute. I'm into it. He is just baby a Godzilla. Guy. Yes, very nice. <laughs> he cute too. And of course, he is a frog. frog. <laughs> just a straight up frog. <laughs> just a straight up frog creature. I mean, Love he it. hasn't earned any of his awesome abilities just yet. He's pretty sweet though. He does baby have a decent Godzilla. little ability though. Baby Godzilla. I think it's cool how they did the alt art kind of in a different universe, but they didn't just make them their own cards. They kind right. of just made them existing cards, but you just get a, you know, alternate art with some cool flavor. Yeah. Like well, they did that, what, three sets now in a row, I guess? Well, never with Godzilla. Or never really, with Godzilla. Not yeah. really with uh, um, other intellectual properties. True. So it's pretty cool. This is kind of a new thing, and I'm interested in if they're going to do anything like that before. Obviously, the company kind of probably has a couple of IPs that they own. Yep. What they're gonna run with the foil uncommon. Nice, we'll take it. More hybrid stuff. Yep. Surprised that's not a kraken shark the way this is set up. It's a demon kraken. <laughs> I mean, what? You, you can't just have a kraken. You have to have a demon kraken. But does that make him also a shark? By uh... uh, well, it makes him two things instead of one. That's for sure. <laughs> As they are such such a fan of doing in this set. Giving them all two names or two uh, two yeah types. the keyword key, creature type keywords they just love just throwing as many as I can. Some of them they can hardly even fit them on the line. There's so many <laughs> in the in the big the big multicolored guys the the kind of headliner guys they're like all oh, can hardly even fit them in there. Soup all day yeah hardly fit them in. That's that's totally fine especially for commander players they're gonna love it. Oh, yeah. They're gonna love it. He's a bat. Again, we've got this pretty sweet mutate. We're just going to have to see where it goes. I mean, it could yeah. be really extremely powerful. People are going to find ways to break it, that's for sure. Oh, yeah. Another otter. All right. What's right? The, the otter is looking for... The elementary crabby. otter. I, I want a foil of that personally. Uh, it's going to look really cool. All the blue and the red. It's going to cut in between the cards. Eerie Love ultimatum. It. Another ultimatum. Solid. Good. Another majestic oracorn in the alternate... Yeah, those alternate, man, those are super cool. Majestic Oracorn. Can't be a unicorn. Can't be a regular unicorn. It's got to be an Oracorn. Yeah, buddy. Why not? Mythos. Another Mythos card. Nope, that's not the one. Crazy. Well, we haven't had a huge card out of this. We had we had the we had a foil mythic in the last set of one yeah. of the man humans who was uh Definitely one of probably probably our best pull. There's another Kinnon. 
Maybe that's our first one. I'm not sure. Kinnon, no. So we got a foil Kinnon. Yeah, last so we got a regular box, one. Here. And I think that one's going to be pretty sought after. I think we also got a regular Kinnon. So that, that makes three. Box? Yeah, oh, maybe. Geez, maybe not. Crazy. Maybe not. Ooh. Ooh, there's another cool comic book style full art card. Sea Dasher Octopus, man. That is, uh, I just absolutely love this art. It's crazy. I want them all. I want them all. They're going to look great in binders. That's for dang sure. Try land. Another try land. Oh, man. I swear I'm usually better at opening packs than this. Do, do, do. Bonders Enclave. Could be interesting. Yeah. It's one of those cards that can go on a lot of decks. A lot yeah. of EDH style decks. I would say a lot, of e a lot more EDH play, I think, than anything else. Yep. Uh, there's a big one. It's one of those headliners. He's a cat nightmare beast. He's got all of the... That's how you want your cats, right? Nightmare beastie. Nightmare beastie. Aren't all cats kind of nightmares? I this is a, I don't have a cat, but I, I do love <laughs> them. But they they can tend to be that way. All right, let's do this. Yeah, whoa, I just messed it all up. So I'm gonna take it. Really cool looking man. Yeah, they keep doing art like this. Death of Triome. Oh, that's one of the Trilands. Crazy. What? No. Yeah. It is. My. That's goodness. sweet. I am kind of blown away. I, I'm again. I'm really surprised Cupboard. after looking at quite a bit of stuff today and educating myself a little bit. These weren't like forefront of most people's stuff. These are just super cool. Yeah. Like that land. That's gonna be. People are gonna want that. Oh yeah. There's some cool. That's some cool looking. Cool, land. cool, 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 cool art. Another foil. Another ultimatum. Inspired ultimatum. But yeah. All these alternate arts look pretty sweet. I really do. Unpredictable Cyclone. Oh, here's that uh, Heartless Act we were talking about. Heartless Act, it's definitely going to be a sought after. Probably really hard to find uncommon. Um, people are going to want them. They're going to want a four of. Yep. It's going to see just a, a good value card. See a lot of standard play, that's for sure. Yep. Especially with how many counters there are. Yeah, I mean, it stops It this. stops red early, it deals with giant creatures, yep. you know, it gives at least two different options, so it's never not useful. Yep, there's plenty of options here. You know, people love Doomblade, or you, there's always that old saying, dies the Doomblade, but that's always got the drawbacks, like, you can't kill black creatures, and this one, at least, you're, always, you're always doing something. Regular rare in this pack. Nice. Genesis Ultimatum and Song of Creation. Yeah, ooh, a foil ultimatum. Those are pretty nice, pretty nice. Let's see. There's another Ozolith. Nice. Boneyard Lurker. Again, one of the only featured artifacts. There's a couple more, but that was probably the best. I think it's, there might be one other rare one, but I think that might be the only rare one. We'll yeah, see. It's not an artifact heavy set, that's for sure. Nope. Which is fine. I mean, we. I feel like we've had we've a couple had of artifact heavy we've sets in the last year or so. Two years, maybe. Death Oasis. Nice card. Lots of tricolors. Doo -doo. Foil. Ooh. World One of Thought. Foil Anticipate with some new art. That is a great. Yeah, that's, that's a great card. card. So always been a kind of a classic blue card, and uh, that's some great art on there. Yeah, I feel like they keep they keep it written in standard because it should be in standard. It should be, yeah. That's and great. it's neat to see that they're bringing that's in some new art color. for it, and not just going with the same it's old good stuff card, yeah. every time. Hunted nightmare. You want to pull that's that fine. stuff out of there? There we go. We're into the last third of this first or second box, I guess. Plenty more to open. Yep. There it is. So this Fiend Artisan, it is probably on a lot of people's, top on a lot of people's list. Yeah, that thing's nasty. Really easy ways to break it. It is a two drop hybrid mana, just like tons of value. With a sack outlet, just tons of stuff that it does. People are going to want that one for sure. Like that could have some modern implications. Uh... Yeah, people are talking a little bit about it. I mean, it 
it has kind of similar costed to like a Tarmogoyf. Obviously, it's not as good, but yeah. it is got. It can get really big really fast. You got some kind of way to get creatures in the yard. It's it's legit. And there's a reason it's mythic, and uh, it's definitely a creepy looking art too. I want to see see some alt art of that guy soon. We got about six packs left in this second box. Cool. Foil. Yeah, so it's it's cool because you know Magic's been doing this thing where they're sending out lots of different versions of cards. There's all different kinds of ways you can buy them. You can do the collector's packs where you're getting the showcase art. There's the which is how they how they mention it. There's extended art. There's full art, foil and non-foil. Even a lot of the they've they've got the uncommons at at uh, some full art stuff, yeah, which yeah. And some alt art stuff, which. You know it's pretty cool especially for collectors if you want another loris if you want different types of the same card or you want to try to collect all in a in a set that's got alternate it's pretty cool for people um, yeah i know myself like i like my binder to have all kinds of cool looking junk in it and you know they're giving you plenty of options to get that stuff i mean if you just look at the list a lot of the alt art and extended art there's just a ton of cards with it this time so that's pretty cool Skycats. even some common stuff has some showcases on yeah. this one well, I Which think that uh, they did that in the collector's packs primarily. Is that where those come in? Yeah, actually, they've done it in a. So, you know. I guess they've done it in the They did it the last too, time in yeah. Theros. They did it in. Uh, yeah, this is also made them to finish this off here. Oh, we got our we got our Sharknado here. Yeah, man. Shark Typhoon. Shark Typhoon. All, All right, right, Wizards. That's box two, man. Box two is done. So we will clean this up a little bit. Box two out of the way. Box three coming in. Oh, pushing stuff under the mat. There we go. Just making a mess of things here. Don't worry about it. Oh, well, we got that box top. Oh, yeah. What am box I doing, top man? First. I'm getting all Let's excited about... You know what I want to <sighs> see? Last time we got Baby Godzilla. What are we getting this time? These are not the easiest Show thing to open. What Show do you think it is? Ghidorah. Show me Ghidorah. No, not quite. All right, we didn't get to Ghidorah. We get Mothra. Show me Mothra. Nope, sorry. Show me this King guy. Caesar. King Caesar. Ancient Guardian. Ancient Guardian. What do you know? He's a cat. He's a cat. Yeah, he's the Liger. He's the Huntmaster Liger. Runus Ultimatum, not bad. Well, he's not Baby Godzilla, but he is a... Uh, no Baby Gojira. Full art, full dude. So that's pretty cool. And his name's Caesar, so, I mean, that just makes King him cool, Caesar. right? Caesar. I guess, I'm sure many people Trium. who are huge fans of uh, of Godzilla will recognize almost all of these these as either bad guys or good guys in the Godzilla yeah. universe. Oh yeah, that one definitely is. I don't remember what movie it's from, but I definitely... oh I mean I'm sure yeah he's Godzilla buffs are like oh of course I don't know all about it. But I've seen the new movies and uh, haven't really delved into the Godzilla lore that much. Song of Creation, yep. which is kind of an interesting enchantment. We chatted about that a little bit earlier. Yeah, let's just play the additional lands. Playing Could an additional land, commander? drawing two cards whenever you play a spell. I mean, you're just filling your hand back up, and then yep. you ditch it. So, like, you could draw also filling up your yard. It could be... I could see easy ways to break that card, but yeah. we'll have to see Especially in goes. Commander. In Commander, you could even... I mean, if you deck build around it, and that's, your, that's the one piece, you could see it doing some crazy stuff. Ooh, look at that. Oh, all Foil right. Ozolith. All right, that's, yeah, people don't want that guy. And a uh, Mythos. Foil Ozolith. So there's our foil rare, one of them. Pretty nice. I'll take it. And we're early into this box, yep. too. So. Early in. Not even halfway through this case. Oh, hold on. There we go. All right. Bonders Enclave. I think the second one of those we've gotten. General Kudro. Another one of those mythic human guys. Yeah. I do like that there's like this overall theme in the set of like humans versus everything else. Yeah, you just got well you have big creatures, but then you have a you have a run of crazy creatures, then a run of dudes, and those, you know, they kind of offset each other yeah. with the colors. Um, being tricolored and then dual colored. All doing similar stuff to kind of fit into the story. 
bouncing shark. Oh my god, that's that thing looks cool. That's a cool looking uh, <laughs> alternate art. He looks like a he looks like a some street sharks. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I'm showing well, my age. The, like... was way back in the day, and that, that shows the stuff. That's hilarious. Street shark, pouncing short shark. I mean, it's a short shark, so maybe he does jump out. Does he have legs? I can't really tell. Does he have legs? He's got arms for sure. He's for sure got arms, so he can flex like a street shark. There's Vivian. All right. Hey, X, actually, our first walker. Yeah. First walker out of uh, two and a a third box. I mean, there's only two, three in this set? There's two, I believe. I might be wrong on that. I have to look. I'm pretty sure there's two, and she is. She's definitely great for what she's pretty solid. She's though. got some great stuff. Yeah. All right. Third of the way through this third box. I do like that they're including these tokens in, uh, you know, every third pack or every fifth pack or whatever. Okay. Yeah, I haven't seen that. Oh yes, great because for there are some mechanics that just straight up give you a keyword. Yep. And you're gonna want to remember that. So. Yep. Uh, it'd be, it'd be great if, if we were drafting in, in person right now yeah. or if we were running real pre-releases, obviously. It's unfortunate. You know, it's unfortunate, but it is definitely good that they include that for... When we get back that to that stuff. eventually, yep. it'll be nice to have them. Cool. Trying to slightly organize some stuff so I don't knock everything out at once. Hey. Titan's Nest. Oh man, it's our nest. I don't know if it's a very good card, but it's an interesting one. The beginning of your upkeep, you look at the top card of your library, you can put put it into your graveyard, and then you can exile a card to add a colorless mana to your pool. Could be good. Could. Yeah, I mean, it It gives value. It does a little filtering. It's good. I mean, in conjunction with the, the two-cost guy that gets powered up for having stuff in your graveyard, it could be a solid, solid card. Look at that. Another Triome with the alternate art on it. This time we got the Zagath Triome. That looks awesome. They are, boy, black, green, blue, but there's a lot of red and purple in there. That's kind of There is, but again, these this comic book art kind of gives these crazy colors that yeah. you've never seen. Which I, I mean, I like it. it it's kind of hard to tell it's even a land. Yeah, in a lot of ways. It, it just really, you know, it doesn't have it that... It looks more like an enchantment Yeah, or almost like, well, I mean, it's it's got its own flavor. Almost yeah. like I've never seen it in the land. Alright. Yuri Ultimatum this time around. Alright, we're about halfway through this box now. Zagath Trion. It's another one of those lands. Yeah, these lands are surprisingly cheap. Because I think Foil. they're going to be great. Indatha Trion with the alternate art. Ooh, hoo, hoo. And a that's a hot, hot, that's a hot the hit right art. there. Yeah, those 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 Altart Foil ones are just pretty legit. And it it's great, cool man. that they're coming straight out of packs. Yeah. So, I mean, you could go and get a couple packs off the shelf and boom, you hit a crazy solid. card. You don't have to even get the collector's packs to get this good stuff. However, with that being said, the collector's packs are going to have they're these. guaranteed to have this. They're going to have that kind of stuff, kind of stuff yeah. in it pretty, you know, with, with, with a lot of, I mean, I, I would be surprised if you didn't see one of those every couple packs yep. or at least maybe not the, maybe not the foil, but at least the full art. Oil Jimber. What? Glimmer Bell? Elemental Jellyfish, of course. Why wouldn't you have an Elemental Jellyfish, right? Alright. We got a Fox Friend here. So many cute Aminoles. Mythos of Iluna. I also think it's funny some of the keywords just like they just throw in dinosaur because why not? Yeah, yeah. It's like, yeah, this kind of looks like a dinosaur. We'll throw it's a dinosaur, dinosaur on top. Yeah. It's a dinosaur cat thing. Horror. Yeah. Why wouldn't it be a dinosaur, right? Hey, it's got dinosaur wings or, or it's got <laughs> sharp teeth. 
It's no dinosaur on there. It looks more dinosaur-y than we thought it would, so we'll go with that. Sea Dasher. Ooh. Boneyard Lurker. That's pretty cool. That is cool. And, and again, they're just I love how they're doing some uncommons that are yeah. full art, making them essentially what would be equate to a rare in a pack. So. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Definitely adding some value to the end. Oh! Oh, nice. Full Vivian. Shiny Mythic Foil Vivian. He's not nearly as exciting Very anymore. Very nice. <laughs> Very nice. So that's two Planeswalkers that is a great looking in the card. same pack. That is a great looking same card. Same Planeswalker, one foil, one regular. That is a great looking card. Crystalline Giants. Gotta have at least an artifact creature too in this set. Foil. I've had a couple of people tell me this is a great set to draft. Um, I know Arena's been drafting it for a little while, but I would imagine because I mean, what do you look for in draft? Bombs, right? Yep. What does this set have? Pretty a much lot a lot of bombs. bombs. <laughs> well, I mean, the other thing that makes it, I think, a solid draft set is there's a lot of bombs. Like there's a lot. There's not just Ooh, one speaking of or bombs. Two. Speaking of bombs, Snap Dax. He's one of my favorite cards in this set. Four His flavor, the five. mutate, just makes some awesome stuff happen. I mean, think about it. You're giving stuff double strike, but you also have things like Embercleave in this in the standard set. Yeah. Can you imagine like mutating a guy and then throwing an Embercleave and just doing crazy amounts of damage in one swing? All right, last pack out of the last third pack. box. Three boxes to go. Otter. Oh, another otter sweet. All righty. Let's do a little bit of cleanup here. I can grab cards, which I'm having a ridiculous amount of trouble with right now for some reason. Probably because I feel like it's been a while since I did this. Cool, cool. It's Make been it like four months, I guess. Make it work. Yeah, it's normally been, it's like been, three. It's been quite a while since uh, we've had a new set coming out. Uh, there it is. Hey, I got that one to work right. What do we got for the box topper? Godzilla himself, the, mo go. the mono green primeval champion. He is uh, <coughs> he he is big. Um, eleven eleven trample cycling. Very trampoly, very cycly. Get rid of him early if you have him in your opening hand. Emergent ultimatum. Ooh. Throw him in the yard. God, getting him in the yard for Ender on a card with cycling uh, seems irresponsible. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we'll see. They have banned cards. Oh, look at that guy. <laughs> oh, they won't ban him. Woo! Oh, man, that looks great. These guys in in, in foil are just going to be the yeah. nastiest. Oh, so good. He just Elemental cool. dinosaur That's cat. what I'm saying. Just, dino cat, baby. Yeah. Does it look like a dinosaur? <laughs> of course. Let's make it a dinosaur. That's what I was talking about. It's just real. Throw it on there. But he's a dino cat, man. A dinosaur cat. I mean, there are, like, you think of, like, a saber tooth tiger sort of as a dinosaur cat, right? Yeah. He kind of yeah, looks like that. Yeah, maybe. If you're really, uh, Why not? Throw it on there. Why people not? Want, people yeah. want dinosaur decks. It's got the colors. It's got the, the good colors for that. Some colors where there's some fun dinos. I'll take it. Is it wrong that every time I see this, I read Mythos of Spandex? People are going to misread that part for a long time <laughs> calling him Spandex. I'm fine There's with it. There's our second Planeswalker. I'm fine with it. All right, there we go. Finally, we got a Luka. Some people are building around Luka. I guess that's our I've third seen some, I've seen Luka. Some, some people trying to make some builds and some heavy creature decks. I remember seeing him point. on some promo art, and I was like, that's just a cool, that target's cool, cool creature. That is a cool looking creature. Oversized saber tooth cat dragon bird thing. Why not, right? Sure, he's a bird. He's an octopus too. He's, he's clearly a bird octopus. You don't, you don't see the rest of him in this picture. He could be anything on the back end. I think I see wings. So maybe he's a sphinx. He's a pterodactyl. Pterodactyl. We'll make that a we'll make that a new type. <laughs> Bonders on enclave. All right. All right. So we're diving in. So biggest one so far. We've got uh, well, other than Gojira. Bardock, the aspect of thunder. Alternate art is pretty sweet. Another eerie ultimatum here. Mm. 
Not a bad box so far. The box topper definitely increased the value of this awesome. thing. awesome. It's awesome. I like that they're he's, including that in the box now. He's he's up there too, um, as far as price goes. Luca or Godzilla? Oh yeah, I'm sure. Um, and he's, I mean, the, the, again, having such a crazy high creature, being able to just e get him into the graveyard at will. Yep. Gaining a card off of it. There's so many things that will bring cards back from the graveyard. I mean, he's also a dinosaur. <laughs> so that does things. The return to the dino decks. Yeah, man. All right, another Triland. We'll take them all day. A whole box full of Trilands, I'd be happy. So yeah, for those of you that maybe didn't see the little thing rolling across the top, all these cards will obviously be available for pre-order starting tomorrow. Yep, if you see anything you like, let us know. And let we'll us know early because, you. Uh, you know, we open cases, but not all that many all that often. So what you see here is, you know, first come, first serve, basically. Yep. Ooh, it's Foil Necro Panther. It's nice. Necro Panther. That's just a cool, cool name and some great art. Again, just great art. These arts are so cool because the creatures just, like, they pop out into the text of the card and on the top. Yep. They just, like, really pop. Some cool stuff. I'm into this. I mean, we waited what an extra three yeah, weeks we basically to get this set we out. A little while. So I'm glad that they they did some cool stuff with the art. Really makes it feel worth it, I guess. There was some worth stuff going weeks. on globally that pushed it. So uh, I'm yeah, not, I'm not mad. There's a few things happening. There was a. I'm glad that they didn't just release. There's a cool foil. We got a, one of the cool elemental fox creature foil yeah. rares. I'm into that. Ah. These packs are killing me, man. There's the other mythos. No mythos. Twenty of those. Yep. Do, do, do. Garuda. Sprite Dragon. Oh man, another cool alternate art I haven't seen yet. Dinosaur Cat. Super cool, man. Very cool. There's another Necro Panther. Not foil this time. But not foil. Still, still looks cool. Art. Honestly, those ones, I don't even need them in foil just because yeah. of how cool the art is. But foil version is obviously cool. What else we got? More ultimatums? Sure. More ultimatums. This one's interesting. It's pretty straightforward. Gain Target five player, life. gain five life, deal five gain damage. Five. Draw five cards, do five of a bunch of stuff. Yep. That's so what basically all, all those three colors are going to do for you. You're going to get it all in one swing. Literally. If you have seven mana to spend on That's it. It's another otter, man. We've opened a lot of otters. Yeah, open me all them otters. I haven't gotten a Super foil cute otter otters. Yet, oh, I'd love to see a foil one of him. Some more creatures, of course. Cat beast this time. I do like that this set is extremely heavy on the creatures, which we kind of figured going into it just with the name. That was the idea, yeah. yeah. I think... A lot of people, last time, you know, with Theros, every plane's got a theme, right? With yep. Theros, you had the enchantments. This one, you've got... Creatures. Big time creatures. Makes for some real cool flavor. Working on the last third of this box now. Some kind of turtle. Dinosaur turtle. Why wouldn't it be a dinosaur? So he do. Trample, haste, and cycling. I mean, man, given creature cycling, it's interesting. Pretty solid. Classification. This one, yeah. <laughs> you know, remember, there's cards in Magic that let you just put auras on things quickly. You want to have a 2020? Another Triome. All right, we got another one of those full alt art, art Tri-Lands. Tri what is the term? It's not alt art. Is it full art? Is it so this is, this, I believe, art, is what they they'll call it the showcase art. Okay. Uh, there, I think that's our first broad mode. There is uh, two different classifications. One is extended art, and Sorry. one is the showcase art. And so I believe if it's alternate, it's going to be showcase art. Okay. That's our Luminous first Moth, Blood Moth. Moth, our first one. And this is definitely yeah. on the top of most people's that lists. crazy. I mean, can you imagine you get an entire board wiped of all your little human creatures and Blood Moth survives while you're getting your human creatures back? I mean, that seems okay. This Brood Moth guy is... Is seriously legit. I mean, he's commander pl commander playable. He's standard playable. He's probably pioneer playable. I mean, he's insanely good. 
Another one, Elemental Dinosaur Kitty Cat. Take it. Just really cool. Yeah, More I've mutate got four commanders packs left cool. here. If I can get them open. Oh, we got a. This is some kind of parrot. Porky <laughs> parrot. <laughs> what? I definitely Famous missed nest. Porky parrot when I, I was didn't see that one either. <laughs> they, uh, yeah. But that's an awesome name. It's not even a stretch. Not even. A nope. Stretch. Definitely a bird beast. Because There's it's no the bird beast. It. I'm kind of surprised it's not a dinosaur too. Because <laughs> why not, right? Why not? Porky parrot dinosaur or something like that. Yeah. Another one. Yeah, hegemophage. Hemophage. Oh it's man, so the cool. art. The art is just legit. It's like eating a goat, man. Eating some kind I'm of gonna goat, chew yeah. up your goat tokens. <laughs> Whirlwind of thoughts. Real cool. What's this one do here? Uh, pretty straightforward. I mean, enchantment. Blue red. Pretty solid. Death Oasis. Another one of those runs. Right. They have nice that is the runs end of that us. box. All right. So we, we are down two boxes four boxes. Go. We got two left. You want to help me clean up a little here? Pretty good. Yep. So we'll take these guys. Get that out of the way. Can you actually set these over there somewhere too? Grab. It's a huge stack of stuff. You got there it. Go. All right. Two boxes to go. All right, big time box topper. I mean, we, we already got Gojira. We did get Godzilla himself. Green Stompy Zilla. So this one is Dara. another King Caesar. Ah, okay. All right. Okay. Could have been a lot worse. Could have been a lot worse. No. <laughs> now that you say it. When you say it like that, you like you're that, just wrong. I don't know. <laughs> that could have been but we followed up with this guy. I'll take it. Yeah. Another try on with the alternate art. Do, do, do. What am I doing? Well, Ooh, oh, another. it's a foil empathy. Okay, yeah. Dirge bat. I was like, why was that uncommon in there? I couldn't tell it was a foil right away. Very cool. Slitherwisp. Slitherwisp. It's really hard to say. And there are some oh, like nightmare. magic is you know known for not having the easiest names to pronounce, right? This may be one of those but sets where you have to like sets. you have to hear the name a couple times pronounced <laughs> yeah. by someone who like created the card <laughs> in order to know you're really pronouncing it correct. Oh, I, I just, found that yeah. a couple times. There's oh, that's fancy. Another foil triangle. Oh, foil. All right, we'll take a foil. With an unpredictable triangle. cyclone. Foil. If you're getting a foil rare, give me one of those Trilands for yeah. sure. Yeah, this is a set that I think I am never going to pronounce any of the names of these cards right. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. I was As I was watching some, some review videos of the set, a lot of people were like, in the same way, doing the same thing we are, like, not sure how to pronounce this, but I'm going to make it up oh, while we're talking about it. Here's the card. I'm going to have to show it to you. <laughs> It's spelled like this. Yeah, you figure there you go. Out. Figure it out. It's really, I mean, there's just, when you get creatures, you get, like, actual like, proper names they have to make up. Yeah. <laughs> so you're going to get yeah. a bunch of that. Shark Typhoon! All right, we got some, some Sharknado. Yeah. Some yeah, Sharknado. Devin, this is the uh, thing that gets, I don't usually buy boxes now because I open six boxes at a, at the, op at the uh, release, so. All right. Kind of gets that out of the way for me Mop as Springs well. Springs Revenge. I haven't seen this one. Okay, sure. Token Creator. Nice. Bird, bird Serpent, liger. of course. You'd have a Bird this, Serpent. That's a Liger. That is, yeah, that's uh, that's our, our friend Caesar. There's that Huntmaster Liger. That's what Caesar actually is there. So. It's a Huntmaster Liger. Hopefully it's a good card. Another Loris. Solid card. That guy's going to be... That's cool. one that I think is going to be cool again, and you know, real good. Again, with the hybrid mana, you have it yeah. in a white mono white deck, you have it in a mono black deck, you have it in a commander Kudrow. deck. You can have it as a commander. It's good stuff. General Kudro. Got a couple of him. I've seen Got him three? pop up quite a few times. Yeah, this card right here, Gem Razor, is definitely going to be sought after. We pull this. Side. Yep. Quick reminder: if people are interested in these cards. They are available starting tomorrow, correct? This is an Alt Art Luca, Ooh, yeah. Oh, nice! Alt Art Luca. What am I doing here? There we go. Alt. Available for pre order starting tomorrow. Yep. So there's this guy. Sweet. Another 
That just looks really cool. That's it's not a rare. rare. It's not a rare, but it might as well. It is a foil altar of the Cavern Whisperer, and yeah. man, the nightmares in this set are just gnarly looking. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Get this guy out of there. He doesn't deserve to be in that spot. Oh, uh, but the dinosaur turtle does. I mean, that's like the third or fourth of those altar boneyard lurkers. Or showcase boneyard lurkers. They're they cool, look man. good, man. They're cool. Alright, another trium. We'll do it. And let's see what else we got. Another cat beast. Yeah. Cat beast. Oh, look at that. Oof, alright. Foil mythic. Nethri. Nethori. Nethori. <laughs> I think I got However you want to pronounce it. I got a second. Just just go after the comma and go aspect of death. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, yeah, aspect of death. It's Apex aspect. of death. That's what it is. Oh yeah, there you go. See, you can't even pronounce yeah, the Apex. Apex of there death. we go. <laughs> There's so many words. None of them make sense anymore. I just need like yeah, we need to go to the creators and like let me showcase this card and I'll like, also explain how to pronounce it. <laughs> there definitely needs to be like a pronunciation guide printed for this set. For this set more than I've probably ever seen one. I like it. Yeah. They're making up a lot of new stuff. Another crystal giant. It's the first time we've ever been to this plane, so you're gonna have a lot of new stuff, new stuff. Yeah. Oh my gosh. There we go. Whirlwind of thought. Solid card. Looks interesting. I think that's a card that just in certain commander decks you auto add. I mean, it. Like, yeah, it does. And you want that kind of stuff in just guy. It's interesting. It's an interesting run of enchantments. It's not an enchantment heavy deck, but they did give you one and some interesting color combinations. Well, it's non uh, non creature cards, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. which there are you know. Of those. Yeah, it's nightmare. All right, getting into the last third of this box. And we got one left after this. One more after this. We got Ooh, a demon cracking. Hold on, I gotta straighten some stuff up so it doesn't fall over. There we go. There we go. Companion. The companion mechanic is really interesting. Yeah. It's kind of making it mini commander. I like that. It's, it's interesting. I mean, hey, if they're gonna if they're gonna give us some new stuff, like people are gonna find some homes for those types of cards. There's a alt art huntmaster liger. Alrighty. Mythos. So many cool cards. Man. It is a very, just in terms of the art and the types of cards, it's very otter. interesting. Another otter. I think that makes four of. Yep. Nice little play set of otters there. Phoenix, Everquill Phoenix. Yeah, it looks like uh, Devin on the uh, Facebook stream tells us just make your own nicknames for it. <laughs> We're going to probably have to do that. Just make them up. We'll just make them up. We'll give them a nickname. All right. All right, we got another another dude here. Cheville. Cheville. The Chevelle. I'll call this guy He's Chevelle, Monster man. Hunter. He's Chevelle. From Monster Hunter, the game. <laughs> he is the Monster Hunter. Ooh. Oh, a foil spider. Ooh, I That's need a spiders. Good looking foil spider. People from Champagne know I run a spider EDH deck tribal, and I would definitely take some new ones. Especially with Mutate, why not? Yeah. Let's everybody be a spider. All the reaches with a 2-3. Yeah. Ooh, another right. triumph with another the ultra one of those art. foil triumphs. We'll take it. It's pretty cool stuff. All I'm right. Excited to open a box of my own. Three three see if I can get any of those guys in there. In this box, and then one more box. Oof, another mythic. All right. I will call him Treehead, the <laughs> Nightmare Beast <laughs> Elemental. Apex of Forever. I'll call him Pokey Tree. Pokey Tree. Pokey Tree Rhino. 
Alright. Last pack in this box, and we got one more to go after that. One more box. One more chance at one of those cool box toppers. Ooh, put stuff in the wrong place. There we go. Yep. Alright. Let's uh, do a little cleanup. Yep. Here we go. Box for the final six. box of the night. All right. Did we get another Godzilla <laughs> in our final box topper? <laughs> Just not a Caesar, please. Because we had two Caesars already. We'll take. How about oh. the Ghidorah? Woo! That one is spicy. Nice. All right. Here we go. Yeah, he's up there. He's up there. Biolante. Biolante. <laughs> plant form. beast form. Oh, it's, but it's a cat. Of course it's it is. Nightmare Why wouldn't beast. it be a cat? Yes. It's a pretty looking card, too. Pretty looking card. It's got to be a cat. Interesting that they're doing box toppers in regular boxes. I'm into yeah, that. You know, I like you it. know for a fact you're getting a Godzilla style alternate foil. So you're getting something cool. solid out of it. That's yeah. pretty cool. I think the last time they did that where you just know you're getting. You know exactly what you're getting, you know, in, in terms of the rarity of the card. They did it with, like, an Ultimate Masters, even. So. Yeah. Ultimate Masters yeah. did a box topper. That's right. I think that was a test bed to see how this would work. And Well, in a standard well. set, when you're, you know, you, you're the box. I mean, the Ultimate Masters box is really expensive. Yeah. And it's kind of nice just getting a little addition because they haven't done extra. a little addition. I mean... Also, you know, if you get the box on release, you're getting a straight up, you're straight up getting Godzilla because you yep. get the the buy, the buy box, box promo while those last. But it's also cool to to get something a little extra. Yep, just a little bit extra. Another Triome, we'll take it. All right. Tranquil Cove. There's a Alt Art Triome. Another one, All right? We'll take it. We've had quite a, a pretty prepared. good showing of the uh, Alt Art. Triumphs. Yeah, we got a decent number. And I think we got a good variety of them, too. Pretty good, yeah. Pretty good variety. Plenty of good stuff on there. Foil Gem Razor. Woo! Yes! That's a good hit. Because that's a... As far as foil rares go, that's probably one of the top three you want out of this set. Really good one. Slither Wisp. Say it slow. Yeah. Slither Wisp. Say it slow or try to say it five times fast. Either way, you can't be wrong. This box has been a little light so far, but you could definitely. There's another gem razor. Well, gem razor and regular gem razor. We not had uh, the, the tri a couple triumphs. Yeah. Not too bad so far. And we're only a third of the way into this yeah. thing, too. It's not bad. We'll get some good stuff. Another triumph. Another triumph. We'll take it. We will take it. Extinction event? That's pretty sweet. It is cool. Yeah, again, it's kind of a, a nice little wipe. Great flavor for this set. Yeah, it's interesting. Oh, all right. Another foil rare. I'll clear those guys out of there. Got it. Yep. All right. Elemental Sky Cat, Cat Sovereign. Nice. Elemental Cat. Look at all cats. Oh, the art's cool. Ooh. It's got flying kitty cats all over. This has been the Gem Razor box. Oh, man. boy. Yeah, Holy that cow. Gem Razor alt art. That is legit. That's really cool. So, this box has had a yeah. regular foil and now the alt art. Now the alt art. Now we just need the foil alt art. Yeah, for and the now full cycle. Super duper happy. <laughs> I would be super duper happy with that. The Gem Razor box. The file. Gem Razor box. I would take it. Doki. Spoil. Mori. Some ooze. It's a cool looking ooze. Yeah. A lot of people love oozes. The collectors, too. Collects. Looks like you're collecting jams. Genesis Ultimatum. That's one that I think is interesting. Just the checking your top five. It does good stuff. 
Titan like Nest again. I mean, all the ultimatums, even when they did the ultimatum runs back in the day, I mean, they, they, their abilities are amazing. It's, but it's like, you know, you have to pay the cost. You yep. gotta have the, you gotta be able to get that combination of mana, which is never easy. Yeah. That's so true. they've always thought about how high cost did they need to be to do such almost Crazy game, stuff, yeah. game changing stuff. Yeah. Altar biome. There you go. There's another one. Take it. All right. A whole bunch of them. This pack puts us two thirds of the way through the final box here. We have not seen an R set yet. We have not. Oh, that's the third planeswalker. Yep. There you go. There are three of them. That's correct. Just saw a token. She's kind of like just kind of. She's kind of just like hanging out. Like oh, and then there's also Narset. also Narset. Why not? Yeah, she's yeah. there too. Remember? <laughs> Don't forget to bring Narset. We haven't seen one now. Classification. I just think this is hilarious. Plus In, twenty. Plus twenty. Creature gets plus twenty. Plus twenty. Yep, they do. Sure. <laughs> So you're hope they don't have trample, cheap. and hope that you have some way to kill it. You hope it's not on a Godzilla. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Although at that point, it almost doesn't matter. No. Cloud Piercer, uh, yeah. which is a common, but it's just a sweet dinosaur. With an alt art. With alt art. I like it. Cool. Those alt art foil commons are, are pretty cool. All right. I think this box has been solid. It's been the solid for sure. Gem Razors of yeah. sorts. All the, the gem triumphs. Raisers. Couple, couple alt art triumphs. Some good rares. I think maybe one of every mythos at this point. Some cool alt art stuff. Yeah. Got about five or six packs left here. Ooh. That guy just looks good. I yeah, don't know does. if he's actually going to be good. But oh, he's going to be good. <laughs> he's going to be good. Loris. Loris? Loris? Loris. 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 You gotta slur it? I'll call him Smoky Cat. <laughs> Smoky Cat? Alright, three, four packs to go. Four packs to go. Show me the money. Alright, there's a, there's a mythic. Mr. Chevelle. There's Monster Hunter Guy. Chevelle. We got a, a creepy looking horror. Oh, bosh. Oh, bosh. Cray Piercer. Oh, bosh. I mean, we could just try every name and then people can just tell us how wrong we are later. <laughs> I'm just accepting the fact that I'm going to be wrong on all. Gigantha. Gigantha. Last pack. Of last the pack. Last Here box. we go. Last pack of the last box. We have. Yeah, Foil Highlands. Foil Highlands and Surge Bat. Bat. All right. Anticlimactic and all the craziness. Great box. Yeah, I think overall pretty solid stuff. Yeah. Thank you all for joining us or watching it later. We'll see you soon.